How's it going everybody? Jamie Monroe here from JM3 Sports and I'm here to talk to you about the single invert. This is a really great look. Keeps defensive coordinators up at night because it's just really hard to guard. It allows you to draw slides and create scripted spacing that makes it real tough on the defense. And if you don't slide, obviously you've got a great dodger that's very tight to the net and puts you in a really precarious situation defensively. So let's check this out. Here's the setup for the single invert. Let's go through the basic motion. Your short sticks behind. You've got a lefty attackman on this wing at 10 yards. Your righty attackman on this wing, 10 yards. You've got your roll off, your mirror man who's going to go opposite the dodge. So if we dodge this way, he'll mirror this way. He will back up the cage on the shot. He can be an outlet on a throwback. And he will be a sneak if the ball kicks up. When we dodge right handed with our invert, we will cut the opposite midfielder on a 45 cut. The last part of the setup is that M1 and M2 need to be at 16 yards so that when we dodge we can get our 45 cut and that cut can be on time. Let's now talk about the dodge. It is critically important that you draw a slide for this play to work consistently. It's really all about drawing a slide and then being able to bang the ball with your scripted spacing to find the shots and the looks that you want. So therefore, how you dodge is going to be very important because you need to draw that slide. So we're going to talk specifically about how to make sure that you can do that. First, notice these, these um, dashed lines. They represent the imaginary line of the tangents to the crease. The, the line 90 degrees to the end line and the goal line that would be tangent to the crease. When we initiate our dodge, we want to initiate our dodge and be able to make a move and get outside of our man and turn the corner and initiate contact at the tangents. If we initiate contact and we bounce a little bit, we're still going to be tight enough that we're going to be able to draw a slide. If we end up making the move and we get bumped and jacked and it pushes us wide, we won't draw the slide and therefore the whole play will be much less effective. The whole thing is geared towards scripted spacing after a slide with great ball movement and great decisions. The first look, get outside your man, turn the corner, score the goal. You have to go hard enough to make them slide and if they're not going to slide we have to score. The second look is if we dodge hard and we mirror and they slide late, there's a great chance that we might get a little dump inside to A2, the mirror. This will not happen on an early slide because you won't have the feeding angle to get there, but on a later slide in which D2 gets kind of stuck in the middle, you can oftentimes throw it right inside because maybe D1 doesn't get down there as quickly as he needs to. The next look is we dodge, we get pushed off our line a little bit. They don't slide, but you have all of a sudden M1 cuts the middle, particularly when it's on a short stick, they oftentimes won't catch this. And you can make this feed. This is a devastating cut, the 45 cut, and it will be there as an option when the defense does not slide.
Let's talk about the looks versus a fast slide, an early slide, which means they're going to slide either at or below the goal line. We dodge, we draw the slide, kick it to the wing, to the ball side wing. Our cut is going to open up the wing to wing pass. D1 has to get down and guard the backside of the crease. That's the typical responsibility. You don't want one of these two guys to have to do that. So D1 makes that play. And because of this cut, A3 can wind up and skip it right through to A1. And it is an opportunity, a wing-to-wing -wing opportunity that happens all the time in this offense. Here's another look that you'll do against the early slide. So we dodge, D2 slides, D1 gets in, short stick 2 follows the cut, long stick 2 gets in, our dodger can skip it up to M2. When that happens, D1 will begin to rotate up to his man on the wing in the skip pass from M2 down to the mirror is open all the time. Anytime you skip it up to the midfielder, his first look is going to be right back down to that mirror. It's a great look and it will definitely work if you can get the skip pass. The last look I want to show you that you're going to get against the early slide involves throwing it back to the mirror. So let's just say D2 slides, A2 rolls off, M1 makes his cut, we throw back, D1 has to rotate down, and then we throw it right up to the wing for the shot out of A1 tough for the long stick to get there, S2 had to guard the cut, so the throwback and hitting it to the backside wing is an awesome look that you will definitely find in this offense.